Guys, it's exciting. Guess what day it is? Uh. What's up, man? Tom's sisters have arrived. I have to go pick them up at the post office right now. We got six of them again. I'm doing the whole thing over again. So when I come back, I'll show you what I gotta do to get them ready and put them in there. <sighs> well, Tom, you wanna go with me? No. I got stuff I gotta do. I'm gonna make them poop on your head. That's rude. All right, I'll be back in like a flash. I'm sure you will. About time. You ain't gonna lock the door for me. Give keys. I'm also carrying six precious little chicks. I can hear them. I know. I, as soon as I went to the post office, I'm like, it sounded like a lot more than this. And I was like, I'm here to pick up six noisy chicks. I said, uh, I hope there are, there's more than just six of them back there. And she said, yeah. Try your tractor supply and get some from the same place I'm getting them. Really? Yeah. Huh. All right, first thing I got to do, guys, is take the water dish out and the food dish out. Because I have to put warm water in this. This is one of the things you got to do. I don't know if they remember from last time, but that's what you got to do. I guess cold water is too much of a shock to their system. That makes enough sense. Are you talking to your sister? I'm trying to see if I can see them through the little, uh... What's that? I'm trying to see if I can see the chicks through the little, uh... Yeah, it looks like they taped the box up. Alright, let's see if they remember what they're doing. Yeah, you don't want to put super hot water in, you just want to put pretty warm water, though. Right. You trying to peek in the holes for the camera? I'm trying to. I'm having limited success. Jeez, it takes forever for this water to warm up. It makes me have to pee. Yeah, me too. There we go. I fill that up, and what you gotta do, I'll put this in here like so. You know it's gonna be filled up with wood chips very soon. Let me dry my hand off. It's gonna be filled with wood chips very, very soon. Yep. They don't waste no time. Oh, I have to get a knife, don't I? Yeah, probably. Just don't cut the chickens. Okay, let's see. I think I can. Anything you have to do food wise? Yeah, well, the food packets are inside here. They give oh, you the gotcha. packet the, for the first day. Supposedly, they can go 24 hours without, uh, without eating. Hmm. Let's see. Here's some instructions on the side of it. Where? Where? On the side that I'm looking at. What's it say? Step one, carefully open your box. Oh, yeah. Step two, beam with pure excitement. Oh. Step three, share your new additions. Am I beaming? Oh, here's something. What? What? Oh, look at the little chicks. Oh, they're different colors. Oh. So now I gotta take them out one at a time. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you take them in here and you dip their beak in the water. And that gets them used to it. And I will name you Georgette. And you will be my friend. And I will love you and I will hold you. Oh, you're a little wild one. There we go. Two. Hey, it just pecked me. Oh, mm -hmm. you, your name is Pecker. 
it's okay, baby. Yeah, it's an instinct. Yeah. Three. Who's next? What are you, what are you all cowering away for? Oh, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's a good girl. You gonna lend me some good eggs later, huh? I can't see a beak. There we go. There's four. Oh, this is the runt. This is the little one. We got another nugget. Nuggy. I wonder if that's like commonplace with how they try to organize them maybe. I can't get our beak in there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, she's a little one. And, yeah, we didn't forget, oh, you were a fat one. Yeah. Oh, look how cute. And there we go. There you go. You're all in there now. Look, they're already pecking, <laughs> pecking away. Yeah. All right, let me see if there's... Here's the pack of food. Yeah, so, so what they do... Oh, hardly any poop in there. Well, this looks, this is different than a lot of other stuff I had. The other stuff was green. Mix the entire packet with two tablespoons of water and give to hatchlings in their brooder. Enough for 25 chick. Wow, that's a lot of food. Food and water within 24 hours of gel administration. Okay, well, let me go mix your food for you. You entertain the people with the chicks. Now, um, we gotta come up with names for them because I think we can kind of figure out they have certain personalities and colors then they grow up and I can't tell any of them. I was gonna say, like that's gonna wind up the same thing as last time. That they would be. Yeah. Oh, guess what? What? It turns green. Ah. Must be science. Here's your uh, chick mash. <laughs> Here's some food for you girls. Yeah, it's your new home. It's a little bit awkward to film, isn't it? Uh, where how low this is. A little bit. But yeah, they're adorable. They're certainly fluffy. You know what cracks me up about little chicks is that they'll they'll walk around and then all of a sudden just like little little babies all of a sudden they're like this falling asleep we're like Tom I think I just saw him do that the other day what you were nodding off the other day one thing about these chickens they're actually going to have feathers on their feet and if you could see you could see little hair on their feet right now whereas the other ones don't so they'll have feathered feet oh uh, yeah I can't wait to, you know, here we go again, right? All over again. And I like, I like taking notice to which ones, if you look, this one, uh, she walked in the back and that might've been, the, no, this one too. They have little feathers on their, 
on their wings. Some of them don't, some of them do. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, welcome to your new home. And they'll let you know if they're too cold or too hot uh, by just how loud they are in there. You know, and if they're huddled under the lamp, that means they need that heat. And if, and if, it, if it's a little too hot, they'll go to the outside. You know, it's funny. I was looking last year of uh, looking at pictures that I had of them, of the other ones. And it was like, I think, a week. It's like a week or two weeks that they were grown out of this. I think it was one two week? weeks. I think it was two weeks. As I say, but one week, I remember when they were in there, they were like this big after a week. And these chick chickens actually get bigger than the ones that are out there. Hmm. They seem kind of bigger than the. But they're supposed to be some of the friendliest uh, breeds. Brahma. Brahma Puff? What the heck are they called? Uh, get my phone. Because I know I have a. Um, a picture of them. For some reason, I think that they're called Brahma Buffs. Hey, in case you guys didn't know, uh, we had a, if you don't follow me on Twitter, we had uh here they are right here. Oh, Buff Brahma. That's what they're gonna look like. You see the feathers Colorful. on their feet? Yeah. Yeah, so anyway guys, uh, uh, Easter, uh, over my sister's house, we had a dove come and land on her roof. Huh. And uh, it hung out for a while. I say, huh, like I wasn't there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and uh, what's fascinating about it is, is that, oh, let me try to get up. What's fascinating about it is, is that, um, you know, Jeff just lost his sister, just not that, what was it, a couple months ago? Or a month ago, maybe. Um, I think it's a couple months, but I don't know, time has all got me all whacked. But, uh, so it's kind of weird, Easter, of all days, that he, you know, he, he said, he hasn't never seen a dove on his property in 30 some years he's lived there never saw a dove mm -hmm. and it lands on the roof of all places it could land anywhere it landed on the roof and was watching us outside doing our easter um activities and stuff like that which was fascinating and then uh it flew and a hawk chased it yeah that was weird yeah and then another hawk came around looking for it and it was like another one thought it was the same hawk no there was two oh. there was two um yeah, so it's it was kind of weird because it's like you know what a dove represents, right? Um, some of the symbolism. I don't know all of it. It it, rep, it, it the symbolism is for peace. Yeah, that's. that's, that's so it's kind, it was kind of fascinating that peace was resting on their house, and evil came along and chased peace away. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, not once but twice, and you know he lost his brother and his sister. And it was really weird, guys, because also I noticed that there was a lot of twos happening that day. For instance, Terry hid money in eggs. And everybody there found $2, except for one person. And that was uh, Miranda. And well, I was, uh, your mother, she couldn't even, she was, she had a bad headache, so she couldn't. She yeah, really she was kind of an exception. But everybody else found two dollars. I mean, that's just bizarre. They they hit up. What was it? Fifty eggs. I think it was fifty eggs. I think yeah. it was fifty eggs, and we all were gathering eggs, and everybody had two dollars except for one person that didn't look for them, and one person got fourteen, mm -hmm. which I just find fascinating that there was a lot of twos and then two hawks came, I don't know, I, I could be reading way too much into it, you know? I mean, you've had enough weird experiences with doves to uh It is weird because the, the last time I, I ever, and, and the only other time I ever saw a dove th here ever was one time and that was on the anniversary of my dad's passing. Yeah. And, and that was on my pavilion and then it was on the pool deck and it walked around the rim of the pool. Yep. It, so it hung here for a little while and then went away. And, I, and what else was weird about that is um, when I was going to to work, it, the, there was a dove down at the corner right after that. And Stevie Nicks' song, uh, White Winged Dove, came on, which was really freaky. Mm -hmm. the, um, 
I don't know. It's, you know, is it coincidences? Do you believe in coincidence or do you believe that there are no coincidences, right? Or do you believe that some things are coincidence and some things aren't? I don't know. And then how do you tell? I, ju I just think it's, it's more than coincidence when you've seen a dove, at, you know, a significant day and no other day. It just happened to be, you see it one time on a significant day. Right, I mean, the fact that it happened once, okay, that's probably a coincidence. Yeah. Two dove instances, okay, that's a bit more weird, but this is three times now. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, uh, what do you think, guys? Cute? Adorable? Gotta come up with little names. I do want, I do like Nuggy for the one. But I don't know which one it is now. I think it's that one right here in the front. I think that's the little one. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. Yeah. All the rest of them, I'll wait till they get their little personalities. But guys, they're the new additions to the house. Now I gotta do all, gotta go back in my memory for raising the other ones and uh, and remember that uh, look for pasty butt because that's uh, you know that's when their butthole gets clogged up with poop and you gotta make sure that you remove it um, without hurting them so that they can uh, or else they can die. You know, they got to be able to poop it out. So anyway, we'll keep you posted because there's going to be plenty of videos with the whole new batch. And they aren't going to go out there until I don't even know when. I'm not even thinking about that now. But they're that. not going to get mixed in until they're big enough to handle themselves against them. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, by the way, I'm up to four eggs now. Four. It's quite a bit. Well, I ate two, so we really only have two. We still had gotten four. But yeah. Guys, I hope you like this little vlog. I'm excited. Got new chickens. Well, chicks right now. And Tom's really excited because that's now just even more for him to take care of when I go away on vacation. I never said that. Till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Be feeling relaxed. I'll meet you at the lounge. Oh, by the way, while, I, while I'm uh, going to be out running errands today, I was thinking of stopping at Chick-fil-A. You want anything? That's just cruel. Genuine question.